Well, hello there, young wizards and witches, and welcome back to The Refuge of the Painful Tide, this world's premier learning establishment for the magically gifted. Where, in the last episode, we actually uh, managed to build up our first spindle, and we've got a couple of quilted helpers out and about. We also made a nice room for a uh, bedroom for the staff. Now, in today's episode, we are going to make use of the one of the last things that we unlocked in the last one, which was the foundation stone. So, uh, uh, rather, to expand out our school along the ground, which is something we've sorely needed to do for a little while now. Now, I took the liberty of having a quick gander through all of the various things that we could make, and one of the things that caught my eye in particular was where are I, the wood cuttery. This gives plus 50% crafting rate to wands, and also 100% bonus growth to trees. Now, this one is going to be huge for us, I think, because trees, uh, well, I mean... They're not the uh, the most difficult resource to get, but they definitely do take up quite a lot of room in our current little garden over there, which I could instead use for other types of plants, and I would like to use for other types of plants. However, one of the things that uh, I would also like to change is honestly the shape of some of these rooms, frankly, especially this one. Now that this is no longer a, uh, a conservatory, we need to push this out a little bit, and we will with the help of this, but we're going to need a, quite a tall room for our trees. Oh, the frog is... Uh, fo oh, frog. The fog is moving in. Ah, that's right. I did mean to... Yeah. That's barely encroached on this crystal. Remind me in the comments that if I do nothing else, I want to increase the amount of tiles the fog moves forward. It seems that that is a, a pretty big difference from what we had previously. Okay, yeah, you, you absolutely need to be destroyed quite quickly before you decide to come into our school and start breaking our staff, please, and indeed. Thank you. Now, the other thing that we uh, uncovered in the last episode was this crystal down here. It is a battle that we have to deal with. It is going to be a big battle, and I'm strongly considering taking... Uh, I'm actually thinking of maybe taking... Who was it? Kaiser? And... Uh, sorry, I want to bring this up. Uh, for the growth and the strength buff. Manu, of course. Encrypt, of course. And then who can be in the back? I mean, it could be Pepsa, actually. Pepsa does a good bit of damage, but I'm really... Uh, if we can get... You'll start up to a high enough level with their wand, then maybe maybe we'll take them along. And that being said, we could take Silent Psychopath for that uh, Aqua. Hmm, some good choices there, because I don't know what we're going to expect, uh, what we're going to see. On that note, and the other thing we could check: potions of rejuvenation, recharging. Okay, revival flask. All right, we've got a full suite of potions that will be very, very, very useful. Right, okay, so how tall do we need to make these planters exactly? Does it tell us at all? I, it doesn't seem to. Uh, let me go into garden down here and the tree planters. 120, my lord. That's an awful lot that we're going to need to grab. Uh, go ahead and gather pretty much everything down here, please, and thank you. Yep, just all of it. There we go, that'll do. A shattered, uh, shattered perform better in battle. What? Hour of the Shattered. Oh, okay. Well, then definitely Silent Psychopath is coming out with us then. That is uh, pretty solid, I must say. All right, we're going to speed things up a little bit because there's a lot of things that we're going to want to do. But uh, some of the other things I would like to do is possibly push the foundation out over here as well. We would have to move the mage's uh, grave, though, unfortunately. But maybe have, like, a wall or something over here. We could possibly put some foundation, build a wall over there just to keep the crower out from our farms, and then push the foundation of the school out to about here. Put a, a sink another wall, and then have this be our auditorium. It would be a nice, uh, well-shaped room for such a prestigious role. And then we could m put some more storage chests down here, for example. How are our storage chests doing? Well, we've got loads of room in our storage chests. Well, actually, no. No, we do not. Uh, in fact, we're starting to uh, look a little bit bad with that. Wow, okay. And what on earth has happened over here exactly? Oh, the, the, has the one shape have been damaged? Yeah, the one shape has been damaged, it seems. Fair enough, that shouldn't be uh, take our folks too long to sort out. Now, do we allow staff up here? Access is all staff students quilted. Yep, and access to these is all staff. 
Okay, well, that's fine. Anyone can go up there whenever they please. We are hopefully going to get a couple of peeps ready to move on. In fact, you are more or less ready to be hired at this stage. Hmm. We could do the higher staff ritual. I need savant scrolls, though, so I'm going to need to... Uh, to graduate some of our level 2 students. Mm. That is going to be a problem then. How about you? Uh, you Alright, you've got to destroy a burrow of lava. Alright, well, we'll hopefully find one for you. Uh, platinum toes complete. Uh, neat, uh, neat Nick. Well done on that one. Let's have a look at your trials. Very, very well done. Let's see if I can't change your priorities a little bit now. Yeah, we'll pop those back down to a higher priority. All of the children should help out with that. And definitely charging is a reasonable priority as well for everyone. There we go. That is perfect. Regery has completed uh, anticipatory learning. Well done, you. Okay, quite happy with this, actually. Very, very happy. We're doing well. All right, well, I guess what we could do, considering we've got all the potions, that was the main thing. Well, that being said, if I if I take my staff out right now, that is going to cause me some problem, because they're going to need a little while to get back on their feet. But... Hmm, we really do need a nature mage. So badly. Who's our best candidate for a nature mage? Rejure. Hi, Kaiser. Oh. Rejure... What kind of skills have you got? Mm, middling. Hi, Kaiser. Pretty much the same. All right. Well, let's see what you can do in this battle, Hi, Kaiser. Let's uh, get a battle underway. All right. So we're going to be bringing Hi, Kaiser along. We are going to be bringing Manu along. Sorry, sorry, people who want an education. <laughs> you can't have one. We're going to be bringing uh, Silent Psychopath along. We'll see what we can do. We definitely want uh, Potions of Rejuvenation. Restores HP. Let's bring four of these along. Um, revival Flask. Let's bring four of those along. Uh, greater Rejuvenation? Sure, I'll bring one of these. Um, Potion of Greater Recharging? Mm, no, we'll just bring one regular recharge. Well, that being said, maybe... Mm, no, no, we'll bring a, a regular one. I think this should be good. Nature 3, Water 4, Fire 3, Earth 3. Okay, we can see how it goes. Fill up your mana before you get down here, please and thanks. Now, if we move the uh, area down here for the wand shaper and trees, we'll probably have a lot more trees growing down there, and we'll also move a mana lantern down there. But then I can fit in so many more plants into this room. It is going to be grand, but we do need to make sure that we've got enough materials to make for a... Okay, that we're all... Are we all down here, or is it just three? I think three so far. Where's the last? Who's holding us up? Silent Psychopath. Was that you? Well, what on earth were you doing? Oh, you might have been trying to mine some stuff over here. Fair enough. I can't blame you for that. I probably told you to do it. But, uh, yeah, we want to move down the trees, get another garden. It is going to mean a lot of windows, though, which is kind of a pain in the bum. But... All right, let's see what we're fighting up against. We have got a Ember Garland, we've got a Helmor, and we've got a Hallowed One. All right, who's up first? The Helmor. And what do you do, Helmor? Attacks an enemy. Total damage, 52? I just approve of that enormously. Um... Then it's going to be a Hallowed One. Attacks the front row of enemies, okay? And then the Ember Golem. Attacks an enemy and adds Retaliate to 20 to the caster. Okay, well, this is not grand. Not going to lie. Um, surging Strength. Probably... Silent Psychopath, you've got some good abilities. Let's power you up. This is going to hurt. Tunk, ouch. Ouch. Man was already... Badly beaten up. Wow, okay. So, depending on who you attack, you they could actually take you out. So, instead, use this on yourself. Tonk. Oh, you get to do this as well? Oh, that's marvelous. Okay. Perfect. Accept. Please. Oh, mana burst. Nice. That was unfortunate, but... Right, finally the earth armor. Let's start getting you tanked up. Need them to go for you, not the others. Silent Psychopath started with 80 armor, though. Very, very nice, though. Very dangerous. Like, if you were in the front row as a as a um, teacher, I'd be very afraid. 
Uh, but you are more powerful, and you've got surging strength, so I've got soak. Attacks an enemy and lowers their power and speed by 7, which might be nice. Uh, torrent. Attacks an enemy, deals 20, uh, plus 20 damage when attacking from the back row, so that's 57 damage. Uh, consecrating drops. Adds 30 armor to allies in the targeted row and removes sadness, fear, and restlessness. Mm, this is tempting. Very tempting. However, I think... We could go with Soak. Can I hit the Helmore? No, I can only hit the Ember Golem. That's a bit of a shame. Alright, Consecrate Critical Drops on you. Let's get you cleanse and add a little bit more armor. And then I'm going to do the same in this row again. Well, actually, no, you won't have enough for that, unfortunately. Uh, we could go for Growth. You'll take a little bit of damage, though, so let's avoid it. I would like some more strength in this row. There we go. Well done on the armor. Well done on both armors. Yeah, that that uh, bonus there from uh, the uh, consecrated drops that really really helped. Right, I want vengeance. Well, do I want vengeance on the back row? Actually, that's a good call. Maybe we don't. Could you tack the hit? No, not really. So I want potion of rejuvenation on you first and foremost. Then I would like Vengeance on the back row. Just in case. But as long as we keep you just popping up your earth armor, we should be solid. There you are. Now then, I could hit you with Torrent, uh, but I really would like Consecrated Drops again. So, instead, I'm going to use a Potion of Recharging. I really didn't expect to need to, but uh, here we are. And now you can do Consecrated Drops on the back row. There we go, and now you'll be able to hopefully tank some incoming damage. Growth, there we are, well done on the armor. Double armor. You did take a little bit of damage because not all of the Consecrated Drops are there now, sadly. Uh, we don't really want to tank too much more damage. And there's... Uh, the problem is, you've got so much health. Well, the only thing I can do is to attack. Well, I'm just going to have to tank it. Oh, beautiful crit. That was well worth it. That was super well worth it, actually. All right, continue to build up your armor. You're, you're starting to lose some of your, your health there, unfortunately. All right, we've lost the uh, strength surge over here, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead and hit you with as much as we can. 47, that... Nixed a decent chunk of your armor, but that's all right. Uh, surging strength back here again. Manu, Manu's right on the edge. Use the greater rejuvenation. There we go. Fireball. It's not going to do enough to make it useful for me. Well, if you get a crit. Sadly, no. So it was just an exchange of, of damage. Oh, actually, no, never mind. That did end up helping us out. All right, not bad at all, thinking about it. Right, let's get the Earth Armor going. I would love to protect you. Sadly, I can't. We need you out of the picture. You're just going to attack as normal, but you need to die. There we go. Uh, can I... No. That is a shame. Alright, I'm going to have to pass the turn to regenerate some mana. Now, you are going to kill yourself with the attack, but mana is going to take more damage again. And from this point onwards, it's more or less a done deal. Beautiful crit. Let's get the earth armor. Yeah, we've, we've, we're controlling the battle now. But poor Manu. Poor, poor Manu has taken quite the pounding in this fight. Uh, let's get Growth 2 on them as well. Now, at this point, I would... Uh, yeah, continue to bring your health back up. Because I would love it if you don't have to rest after this. Mana Burst. Nice. And... Honestly, we'll be able to take you out with just regular attacks at this point. 
There we go. Beautiful work. That was a tough fight. We've won a canopy bed and a mana crystal. Well, that was definitely worth it, my lord. Okay. That was beautiful. Where are we going to put the canopy bed? Can I put that in the staff bedroom? Uh, bedroom. Plain bed, fancy bed, or canopy bed? Ooh, dormitory. Plain bed, fancy bed, or canopy bed? Hmm. I think I would actually like to shrink this and put the canopy bed in there. Look, you're going to have to fight over who gets the bed, okay? <sighs> Can't hold your hand with everything. Now, I would like... If I were to expand this wall out there, we could keep this tiny little room and even expand it out further to have more beds for staff in the austere bedroom. That might not be a bad move. Or we could have another learning room just underneath. Both are options. But either way, we desperately need some trees to chop. So... I think getting a nature mage would be a good call here. Uh, where are we going to find the burrower? How about you? What are your medallions like? Defeat a one skull or higher enemy party while full and destroy three objects. You know what? That shouldn't be too difficult for us to do. So... We want Regery to have destruction on top possible priority. There you go. I'm going to give you some jobs. What the? No! They can float as well. Oh, that's awful. That is the worst thing. All right, destroy this corpse because it keeps summoning more Crower. I'm very unhappy about this. Everyone else is going to go back to bed. Oh, okay. There we go. Regery is coming out. There we are. That's what we need to see. And hopefully you can de deal with the crow corpse as well. Maybe. No. Pretty much everyone else did all the work. Ah, uh, it's my own fault for giving you a destroy order. Or rather, several of them at the same time. Really? The little scoundrels that they are. All up in here, breaking my stuff. I need to select them. Uh, can I... Spectral Crower. There's only one? Okay. Fair enough. I think the other one might be gone because its body is gone. Either way, let's get a foundation down over here. On a foundation block, can I make it here? Yeah. Then we'll build a little gate over there, I think, to try and keep the scallywags out of my school. Now, as for the garden, have we got enough? Oh, we've got enough to build one. Okay. Oh, wow. We need it one higher than this. So, probably only possible on this side, then. We're going to have to have a wall going straight down there. Fair enough. So, and we will pop a door in here. Uh, though it could just be a regular doorway, since it's going to be external. We will have a door over on this side, though. Dunk. And a door right there. That should do. Now, to see how much room we're going to need. We should have enough. We'll have four in the middle for this to live. I wonder if that will fit properly. Either way, that's now going to massively support this part of the school, so we can do a lot of redecorating over on this side from this point onwards. There we are, well done. Probably want to chop this down as soon as you can. Oh, uh, they've already done that. Wow, okay. Well done, you. Yeah. Uh, let's get a door. Okay, that's actually a lot more than I was expecting. This is enough for a little room. Uh, okay, I'm probably going to take some of the... Uh, uh, some of this back then. Can I deconstruct, demolish? Yeah, we'll demolish both. We probably don't need much to keep it from being a problem for us. Can I get up there to build the floor? Or will this be out of reach? 
No, it looks like we can. Oh, that's going to be grand. Oh, that is absolutely wonderful. Okay, brilliant. Alright, and next up, we're going to build out the floor through here. There we go. Enjoy with your completely subpar conservatory. Your X conservatory. Do I want some lamps on this one? And you know what? I think we probably do. Just because we can, you know? Uh, we'll have some green lamps on the outside. Just so to give that eerie feel outdoors. Oh, wait. No, no, no. They, they will probably take damage. Ah. Didn't even think of that. But yeah, they'll probably take damage. Wonder if the door will take damage. Guess we'll find out. Right, well done in there. Now, what we're probably going to want to do is take all of this down. But before we do that, going to want to build out this side point. And I am definitely going to want a construction about here. Just to give us a little bit more overhang. Why not, you know? That far out. We absolutely don't need it to be that. That being said, maybe we want it to be that far out. I don't know. Uh, can a conservatory... Is a conservatory... Uh, does it need to be private? Find out. Conservatory. Yes, it does. And it needs to be skewed, too. Alright, well, just for the sake of the wonk, we're going to do this. There we go. Alright, well done on the learning over there. I think it is probably time for us to start exploring further. The spine, abandoned mine shaft beneath the school. Home to dangerous creatures, but also valuable resources such as iron and stone. Rewards are 25 stone, 10 iron, and 10 iron. There's a one skull battle. Who was it that needed that? Regeray, I believe. And uh, you need to be full. Are you full? You are full. Right now. Good. Then let's take Regeray out. Regeray, you're coming with. You can take that spot. Um, and I think we're taking Peps there. There we go. Is everyone full health? Hopefully they are. Uh, I'm not anticipating a difficult battle here, though. So let's just go ahead and have a quick rumble. There you go. Expand that area out. Now, all of this is done. The issue here is I cannot get the round windows. I need void caps for that. Maybe I should make somewhere to have harvest void caps. Ooh. Oh, well, that is an idea. There are lots of ways that I could do this, actually. One of them would be to make this a completely sealed-in little room. Uh, that would allow it... Because our ghost can go in there, and a dark room spawns void caps. As long as Heather has the... Pro or, or I just give Heather the job expressly to go in there occasionally and uh, take those void caps out, that would work for me. Hmm. I like this idea. I like this idea quite a lot, actually. Uh, meanwhile... Let's go ahead and build up the wall over here. Let's take it about five tall there. How big did we make this? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Mm, do we want to make it a little bit wider? Sure. I mean, that won't don't center, though. So, there, there is that. If I want to make it centered, I'm going to have to make it a fairly large room. About this tall, at least. I'm okay with that. Uh, we'll have just a regular door in. We are going to want a roof going from here all the way up to the side. Or maybe even on top. I will connect to the side there. Have a little bit of wonk along that route. And then from this one, this one can just connect up. Do we want something like this instead? That would look funny, but we'll just do it like this for now, because I'm not sure if I want to try and create a stairwell up into this area or not. Because I think that would actually be kind of neat. Uh, for the time being, we're just going to give this area just a regular door through. Because that should be skewed. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll be sufficiently, actually. You know what? No. We'll change this up a little bit. Because 
I would like it to be the same height as that wall. Yep. This one can just go up a little bit further. Very epic music while we're building, you know, because building is so important. I'm not sure they're going to be able to reach that high up, but we'll see. That's mostly just to stop leaks for the, the time being. All right, how's everything going? We are doing all right so far. And it looks like peeps are coming down, getting ready for the fight. Yeah, we definitely need more Earth mage users because poor Encrypt is so busy all the bloody time. Uh, right, let's see what we've got going on in here. We've just got some regular belches. Not going to be a difficult fight at all. And in fact, Encrypt is going to get the opportunity to act first and get Earth Armor. I would love to get an Earth Wand user who had high speed. That would be amazing because you could just pop armor as one of the first things that happens. Uh, it truly would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, I could give you Shield of Wind, but I well, I could just also take you out. Just remove the enemies as quickly as we can. Uh, surging strength or growth? I'll go with growth. At this point, fireball might be enough. We get quick. Oh no, just a little bit shy. All right, earth armor again, and then they'll kill themselves on the armor. Perfect. Twenty stone, twenty iron. Very nice indeed. Right. Pushing further down, we will shortly. Uh, let's have a look at your medallion. We need one more thing to be destroyed by you. Uh, this will be it. Destroy prize five, and then Regery is going to be ready to be hired. And we'll have someone who's got a, a dedicated focus on uh, dealing with plants. That would be huge. Though, it would really be nice to have a level four, because there are some tr um, plants that require a level four to be taken out. And it's a shame we're not going to get that. But we'll also have our very first uh, Shattered. Wait. I didn't pay attention. Why have you got so much more going on? Um, why did you take for... Uh, I am confused. I thought... You can couldn't get that up that high. But apparently you can. Uh, Searching Strength 2 is available now. Growth 2. Oh. I very much wasn't paying attention. Why did I, I miss that? I have no idea. But either way, I'm very bloody happy with it. All right. So once Reedry has got level 4 in growth, we will have a level 4 um, one, uh, Earth Wand user. Right, please destroy this grower. These bloody crow out there are a menace, I tell you. Constant menace. However, we do need void room, so I think we're going to lift this floor. Probably pull this wall down and have a little stairs going down here. I'm not sure what we're going to put in here, though, as a consequence. Um, it could possibly just be access to a room up here. Where I would like to have a... Uh, Another bed up there. We should have a shrink, a canopy bed. Oh my god, lord, this is huge. Why am I surprised? It's a canopy bed. Why am I in any way surprised? Well, we're going to have to move this down. We're going to have to move this down. So we're going to have a basic little bed right, right by the door. And then a gigantic bed right at the back. Again, you'll have to fight over who gets to sleep in it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, you know, them's the rules. All right, uh, gonna let people have a little bit of a break, get some more work done. We might want to look at uh, pushing the fog back soon. Uh, two to three staff, uh, one student. We've got more than enough wormweed. Stupid amounts of wormweed, actually. Loads of viscera. Hmm, maybe a superior repel fog soon. Are people starting to be affected by the fog's proximity? 
No, at the moment, we seem to be okay with that. That's actually not bad at all. All right. Uh, I'm going to possibly want to turn this into an advanced learning room. And on that note, we haven't been doing research for a little while. Let me get back to that. Now, we've got a couple of things that we wanted to look into. Uh, and I'm thinking... Let's have a gander. I think we want somewhere for the refining beasts. That would probably be a nice one. Liven up the place would give us carpets, which would be quite nice. Got the lightning uh, teaching orrery. Also the lightning rod. Not sure if that's really going to be necessary for us. We've got the earth teaching slabs. We've got some nicer trees down here. That would actually be kind of cool. We could also then go all the way to a tier 3 earth wand. Ooh. Well, we've got a, a, a tier... A uh, high tier um, Earth Wand user at the moment. So I think instead, let's let's push for the better Lightning Wand. We've got the Lightning Wand tier two. We could get the Air Teaching Mechanism. Teaches Air can be used to create an advanced classroom or a Windy Pinnacle. A uh, Windy Pinnacle, I think, is the ultimate Air Teaching room. It gives a huge boost to to learning Air spells. But an advanced classroom just gives a higher learning speed and maybe we could even put two uh different styles of uh learning items in there uh domesticated magic the large bookshelf and the rune wood uh we could get a large chest down here we've got the fancy bed we've got the weather vane i think maybe we're gonna go all the way down to the level three air ones and it's actually required to make a windy pinnacle let me go and double check that, though. So is the Windy Pinnacle the air equivalent of a classroom? Yes, Windy Pinnacle. You need one or more chalkboard, one or more air teaching mechanism, three or more flutter sails, and it has to be towered. So, it has, okay, that makes sense, actually. Um, three or more flutter sails. So you'd need a really tall place for that. And I think all the classrooms are like this. All of them have that sort of a thing to them. They... Uh, kind of uh, relate to to the the element. So a windy pinnacle would have to be very very high up. Um, oh wait, that is a windy pinnacle. Whereas I wanted lightning, didn't I? Uh, Three hundred percent lightning learning rate. Lightning teaching, iron conduit, lightning rod. Let me go back into research. We're going down here for an air one. That's my problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Where's the Lightning equivalent then. Ah, that's over here. Lightning. Oh, so we will be able to get the carpets. Okay, never mind then. Uh, the lightning teaching orrery. Gargoyle, a small rooftop decoration used to create various types of rooms. Shocking discovery. Level three lightning rod. The gr uh, clock tower. The iron conduit. So I bet both of these are going to need to be tall structures. It's kind of annoying, but oh well. Uh, let's go for all the way down to tie the room together. We'll grab the lightning rod first, and then we'll finish off the air rod. Maybe we'll, for now, we'll just make an advanced learning room that has both of these things in it. I think that would actually be quite cool. Right, let's have a look at my resources. How are we doing for building uh, stone and wood? We're actually still doing okay for. Uh, though, probably want to do a little better than we are. Uh, but for the time being, oh, it's marvellous. We don't have to worry about my bitter rice pots anymore. This is glorious. But maybe I would like to make this place a little bit nicer. Uh, so on that end, I'm going to tell you to chop that down. I don't need you to be prioritizing destruction anymore. I'm going to put that back down to a regular uh, one for you. I want you to focus on getting your final earth wand uh, level there. Right, we've finished this room. Perfect. Start moving stuff across, shall we? Now, going to want the runners all the way through this room. Oh, I'm bringing this down. Fair enough. Pop one there. But I want the runner specifically. I'm just going to go ahead and basically transplant the gubbins from one room to the next. Which I'll bring you back when I'm done with that. And we're ready to move on. The runaways have appeared from the fog. Also, we have finished the room. And I'm... Oh, my lord. It was a palaver to get rid of those steps. Uh, but runaways have appeared from the fog. What? Exactly? Um... Who? Where? 
We have runaways? No one should be in a low state of mood. No, we don't have any. There shouldn't be any people running away from our school. Runaways in my teaching establishment? The, what, what? Okay. Uh, some runaway students are wandering in from the fog. All right. Ne uh, uh, well, uh, we've got some idle students, but uh, two new students. Paul and Oscar. You have got a level three wand. Uh, I, w um. So, uh, this is an interesting one, isn't it? Okay, I, this is all new to me. Uh, you want to, uh, we've got Paul and Oscar. Paul wants to get, um, will gain 15 conviction for four hours after a mining task if they do the gold trial here. Charge a man a lantern 40 times. Uh, you will, uh, Temperate Serenity, ha, uh, you get 2 speed, 2 power, 10 max HP. Uh, we will get Power Boosted, 5 power and 25 max mana, 10 power and 50, for a Raven Cultist, that is bonkers, gains conviction while learning or teaching, moving faster indoors, and Recreation fills 1.5, wow, but... These are going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, I will assume. A two skull uh, fight there. Cast lightning, teaching Ori. Oh, okay. So you need an advanced learning area. You need to cast while rested at a learning stone. And then you need to cast at a lightning, teaching Ori. Okay. Uh, two days with, in a row without ever eating. Uh, getting very hungry, that'll be easy. Uh, crave recreation at a learning stone, 25 times. Okay, those are not difficult ones to get, but let's have a look at your magic. You've got four in air, as well as five in lightning. That is amazing. Absolutely, yes, please. Uh, as for you, you've got three in air, three in lightning. So you would also count as a teacher uh, with up to, uh, sorry, three or more in uh, lightning for the sake of bringing in pupils, which is kind of amazing. What kind of uh, things have we got here? Destroy three objects. That will get you cube fiction for four hours after a clean task. Plus two to nature skill cap. This is a gold trial. Go six days in a row without ever getting very tired. Should be easy. Plus two to nature would take you up to three in nature. You'll have three skills at three and one at five. That is wild. Uh, over here, plus 10 power, plus 50 to max mana. You've got to go for the bur uh, burrower as well. Brews 1.5 times faster. That makes a lot of sense being a, a water mage. You'll be an alchemy focus. Gains conviction while eating in a dining room or a mess hall. Boosted HP on a vivified. That's amazing. And plus 20 speed and plus 100 max. Wow. Okay. Well, this is quite uh, an interesting turn for the books. However, I have problems now because we have too many people. Most unsatisfactory. Decidedly unsatisfactory. Pepster. You are a four wand user, but you are good to go in terms of releasing. I really want to get like you're the only person that I could. I need the the savant scrolls. Oh wait, no savant scrolls come from gifted students. You wouldn't give us that. It would be silent psychopath or platinum toast. Well, you need to defeat one skull or higher enemy party while full. That should be easy. Eat at a mess hall common room or house commons ten times. I mean, that should be ultra easy for you. I'm kind of surprised that you haven't already gotten that, frankly. Uh, maybe it's just not going to count it. Have we got any other gifted students? No. All right, so we absolutely need to get... Uh, Problem being, I really, really wanted to get Platinum Toast to join us because they're an Earth Mage. They would take over for Encrypt. But we might have to say goodbye to Silent Psychopath then. 
Uh, in terms of your trials, we don't even know where the burrow is, so I think it might be time for us to say goodbye. It does make me sad, but... Um, and scrolls based on their total skill, wand, and then full honors, they will permanently depart, leaving behind many scrolls based on their total skills. Well, if we were to say goodbye to Silent Psychopath, we would get nine... Only nine adept scrolls? Really? How does one get savant scrolls? Maybe, maybe that is just purely... Uh, saying goodbye to someone who is fully maxed out then. Which would be... Pepster. Let's have a look. Graduate with honors. Pepster. Yeah, 26 Savant Scrolls, okay. Or Regery. Okay, yeah, we'd only get 18 Adept Scrolls. A reward of fully trained student for their outstanding achievements. They will permanently depart, leaving behind many scrolls based on their total skill and medallions earned. I think we might have to say goodbye to Pepsi, and it pains me to do so. But we, we need those advanced scrolls to start elevating some of our other students. Regery over here has got all of the medals, is fully set, and we would have a powerful nature mage. I'm so sorry, Pepster. But it has to be. Okay, graduate with honors with Peps there. Pop it back over there. Right, 26 advanced scrolls, please and indeed thank you. Let's begin the ritual. Right, there we go. That'll give us enough for us to advance a fair bit, I should imagine. Now, I'm still trying to sort out the light over here. This room is absolute Stygian. Over here, once this window's in, I should imagine we're no longer going to have any problems there. And this one is no longer a problem either. But to get this room fully set out, I want to open up this wall, remove this floor, and then rebuild the wall completely. Wow, you already gone? Such lack of ceremony! I mean, I could have been watching, I guess, but that's my fault. <laughs> okay, my bad. Sorry. Poor Pepsi. Right, okay. Uh, is there anyone else we would like to say goodbye to? Regery, what medallions do you need? Defeat one skull high or easier. Clean three messes. Should be super easy for... Uh, sorry, uh, Ravian. Super easy for Ravian. Let's get you going. Ravian, I want you cleaning on ultra high priority. There you go. And that'll free up some space. Actually, we've got four and four. We technically don't need to see, say goodbye to you anymore. But uh, we might anyway. Still, uh, you, yeah, you've just got a basic lightning wand. We we don't strictly need you here with us. Uh, Regery over here. We've got Surging Strength 2, Growth 2. Not the best staff member that we've seen. However, I think it is time for us to hire you. So, Rituals. Uh, we want to recruit. So, a higher staff. Regery. And we're going to need four staff to help out. So, uh, Magra's Polar Bear. There you go. It's going to cost us 12 Adept Scrolls and six of our 26 Savant Scrolls. We're going to need more Adept Scrolls after this. But we will then have an Earth Mage. It's going to be very useful for us. Let's begin the ritual. Go forth. Do the ritual. It shall be grand. And then we'll eventually get this room sorted out as well. It would help if I would stop telling them to do other jobs than, you know, when I'm waiting on them to finish something, but oh well. Right, uh, let's have a look at your tasks. Uh, wand crafting, rather. Have we got one of everything? Uh, no, we, we need a dark wand too, but we'll get there. How are we doing with research at the moment? Not doing too bad with livening up the place, and as far as our garden goes, we can now start planting some trees. So I'm going to go for... I wonder if they can get in there. I would hope they could. I may end up just getting one of each. A shadow tree planter, a bristlecone tree planter. We'll get a couple of others besides. With time. But that isn't a huge priority for me just yet. 
the shadow tree planter, bristle cone. Yeah, I, I can't move these down, so I'm just going to have to dis uh, disintegrate them. There we go. Should give us some materials back to get these back up and running. Now then, how's it going over here? There we go. Wow, look at that gigantic brain box you've got. I'm assuming that that's your brain we can see. Man, imagine having invisible skin and also no skeleton. Also, imagine being made of glass. There's a lot of things you have to imagine in order to try and relate to Rejury. But nevertheless, welcome to the faculty, Rejury. I have very, very high hopes for you. Let's see about setting up your desires. Right, so now, since you are so good at so many bloody things, absolutely mad lad there. Anything, like, like well, we've got a, a top priority, and then... Everything else over a certain amount, we, we give other things. But I would like you to have Harvest as a top. And then all of these can be medium. So chop, tend, wands. Mm, I feel a tend and harvest are kind of the same thing, though, aren't they? Uh, so tend, it's going to require a user. Plant seeds and fertilize crops. Can do tasks, staff suit and quilted. Harvest, harvest plants to collect the reagents. Chop trees. Yeah, I kind of want you to tend plants and also harvest them. I, I think that makes sense. Um, but you really like doing one stuff, so that's fine. And then everything else we can pop onto a low priority for you so that you do the jobs that you're best at, and that will hopefully keep you in good stead. But, of course, teaching is very high priority. Also, medical rest and aid. These are all important things. I haven't been telling my students to get some rest when they need it. My bad. Sorry about that, students. Hopefully you will forgive me in time. Right, okay, now we just need to expand out this room, delete that floor, and then create ourselves a little mushroom harvesting room. It's going to be grand. Okay, the room that we are going to have as our wood choppery is ready. We just need the final components, which are going to be large windows. Now, that requires the void caps, which is going to help because we've now got a tiny little cubby room over here in which a void shroom shall spawn every uh, 20 or so hours. We will then have Heather go in and harvest it because Heather is literally the only one that can because it is otherwise completely inaccessible to anyone. Now, my hope is that a void cap can't drain the mana out of someone who is simply near it but has to be in the same room because I don't think Heather is going to care if it tries to drain their mana. They don't have conviction that will be affected by it. So that will allow us to eventually get this room up and running but also most importantly say hello to Beatrum and to Taryn Winter Winterblad uh, okay uh, we're going to be changing Taryn Taryn has uh, requested that the faculty in fact refer to them only as Winterblade moving forward well okay if that will make you happy then I've got no problem with that it's quite a cool name after all but uh, we we had a little chat with Oscar and Paul, and they told us their secret names. So thank you ever so much to both of you for your continued patron support, and welcome, indeed, to the school. Now, I'm pretty happy with that movement. The fog is advancing, and I'm starting to get a little bit concerned about that. Is it starting to affect anyone outside of the dining... Why did you eat outside of a dining area? Was this gorgeous room not good enough for you? What nonsense is this? Oh, maybe there's not enough room? There should be. There should be loads of room in here for them to sit. Maybe I've got to move the table back from the wall? No, that one seems to work. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. What we'll do is I'm going to scooch them a little bit forward. There you go. Then you can get around on the other side, and that should be okay. Hopefully. But you know what we need to do right now? We need to go on a little bit of a fight, but I need to quickly remind myself who wants to join. Uh, anyone want to go on a bit of a fight? Uh, defeat, yes. So, Platinum Toast wants to come along. Anyone else? Uh, that an ally going unconscious? Sure, okay, so Eelstar and Platinum Toast would like to join. So, Platinum Toast, first and foremost, and then Eelstar, secondly. So that's going to give us... F <laughs> Platinum Toast is a better... <laughs> Oh, my lord. I should probably put Platinum Toast in the front. Um, kind of probably should, actually. Uh, and also, oh, oh, you know what? You are actually better than the teachers. I don't even know what to say about this. Uh, do we have a good anything else to come along? I could bring Rejury. I could be... 
Have we gotten to that point where the students are now vastly more capable in fighting the, the, the faculty? Oh, Rejury is about the only one that stands apart. Rejury, uh, let, let us hope. And we can bring Silent Psychopath as well, just because we can. Right, okay, let's go. <laughs> all students all the time. Look, okay, we believe in merit in this school, and if you happen to be the best at something, then you're going to be the one chosen for it. Even if it does bend some of the faculty out of shape and they get spiteful for a few days. They're just going to have to learn. If they wanted to be picked for the fights, then they should have been better at fighting, shouldn't they? Please don't die, though, okay? Rejury has got exactly 30 bloody hit points. Rejury! 30 hit points! You got less armor than you had before. <laughs> Why? This makes me so sad. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do 120 damage with this. Uh, it, mm. This is why we have a raven cultist with a fire wand. Dear God. Um, there's no way I can take you out in time. Well, maybe. Yeah, actually, we can just smash you. We took a little bit of damage, but that's fine. And then just torrent. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, torrent, because it uses less mana. There we go. Nice and easy. Some smoke pearl. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. You guys can have regery, really? So little health. It hurts. I'm very... I don't think I'm going to be taking you out on very many... Uh, combat missions, actually, mate. Sorry, but uh, I think this is for the best. All right, seven hours until that has a bit of something going on in it. Now, in terms of research, I believe we are now working on the flashes of brilliance, which will allow us to get the lightning rod and, indeed, the lightning teaching ori. Now, I wouldn't mind getting the large arch window if I could. Only four void cap for this, four frosted glass, some room wood. Uh, the sculpted relief down there as well. If we want tier 3 wand, we have to go all the way down to shock and discovery, which is a bit of a long way for us to go, if I'm honest. Large arched window, though, might be nice because we do need arched windows for uh, the advanced the advanced training room. Uh, sorry, uh, for this area. We want large windows specifically, and they would be cheaper, I believe. Yeah, because... Oh, actually, no, this... Yeah, no, this uh, requires a nine void cap. 200 light, though. What is that? Why is it so different? I wonder if the arch window would be better, but... Nah. No, we should, we should be able to get that going. I believe we can even grow void caps. Uh, Ravian has completed another bronze trial. Well done, you. Uh, you've currently got a defeat uh, while rested. I may be able to take you out for that. I probably should have considered that, actually. That's on me. Right. Time for us to move our wandering mage's grave around a little bit. Uh, we could put it here, I suppose. Sure. I would like this to be gone. Please destroy that as a priority. And, in fact, destroy this as a priority. And in fact, let's try all these as a priority as well. I want to do some some sorting out up here. Do I have any paths or anything? I believe you can get them. I just don't know if we've managed to get uh, unlock them ourselves. No, it doesn't look like we have. That's a bit of a bit of a shame. Oh well. Right, let's move you across as well. Move you just down to here. That should be fine and out of the way. And then we can build this wall down and that should be sorted. Beatrum's completed. Silver trial. Full learning. Well done, you Beatrum. Okay, we've got a lot of things going on for you, but uh, I think we're doing a good job. Now, we can explore the stone ruins. Abandoned ruins of ancient mages. Uh, okay. Uh, creatures living here tend to be balanced in combat. Ruins near the surface contain stone, while deeper ruins also grant scalp stone. Uh, the spine down here, so we would expand. This is the spine. Or we can go for the lava mine. This door will slam shut. Must fight three battles to escape. Oh. 
Oh. Hooray, Voice Room. Heather, you know what to do. Go harvest. And then Heather's going to have to carry things out. Oh, will Heather be able to carry things out? Ooh, that's a question. Well, I can have Heather go and collect the bloody things. Can Heather take the stuff out? Because if not, that's less than useful. No, no, no. Can you go store? Oh, thank goodness. Whilst Heather may be in corporal, the spore was not. And I was quite concerned that that was going to be a little bit of an issue for us. But apparently not. Um... I need one spore shroom spore. How I would love to have that. And yet, here we are, not having it. Sad. Oh well. Now, uh, in terms of our... We've got loads of idle staff, idle students, skill level... My goodness, we've got a lot of things that we need to do. Alright, well, first thing first. It's time for a superior ritual. Let's get Rejury done here, because you've got... Oh, we need a student, sorry. Uh, Silent Psychopath, let's get you involved. Uh, but Rejury, you're going to take up that spot there. There you go. It's going to be great. Plus 30 repel. Let's get it happening, please and thanks. Performing the superior fog ritual. Need medical rest, though. Yeah, don't worry. You'll get it soon enough. All right. Once that's all moved over, it has been. I would very much like... Ooh, furniture. We've got the lightning rod, and we have the lightning teaching orrery. I need brains. Awkward. I kind of run out of those. Uh, I'll see what I can do, though. Alright, we need all of these to be harvested. Thank you very much for pushing that back. A good long way. And now... Well, we've got this room that I would very much like to get that sorted. Can I get brains? Is that even something you can do? It isn't. So who do I need to talk to for brains? Oh, I need to research for brains, that's right. Okay, well, maybe then we don't go for this right now. Instead, we go for the brains. That's going to be a quite fast one, because we've already got a lot of uh, tech for that. Now, other than this, what do I need for an Italia? It was pointed out to me in the comments that uh, we can increase the quilted's lifetime with this room. One or more spindle, one or more tanning rack, grounded. Ah. 45 or greater luxury. 45 luxury is a difficult ask. Okay, I was going to make this an advanced classroom, but maybe I don't. Maybe instead I make this an advanced classroom. And we just have an advanced classroom. Um, that could work. And instead, we push this out, make some more storage, and then make this over here a uh, an area for uh, an Italia. I hope I'm saying that right. You little scoundrel. Please destroy it. Chop, chop. <laughs> chop, chop. Destroying a tree. Really? Really me? Oh, my lord. Uh, oh, well. Uh, right. That should not take us too long. Winterblade just finished a another trial. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. What are we going to get you up to in terms of your magic combat, though? This is going to be wild. But getting a, an advanced learning place prior to needing our very high-level uh, students to learn there is going to be important because it is going to take them an age to get those final levels. They really don't mess around with them. There we go, we'll get that done. All right. Now then, I wouldn't mind maybe going in here. Phoenix Flower, Iron Stone, Viscera would be useful to have Viscera. Idle students, new intermediate classroom. Uh, yes, because I move things around. Don't don't mind me. What on earth? Uh, all right. Uh, I'd like this to be moved right down to the end over here. Probably going to get rid of this, actually. We're going to shrink that. I would like to get a better source of lighting in here. Maybe a window. Maybe even two windows. Oh, damn it. Lag. Cancel that. But we can now afford another small window in here. 
Rain incoming. That won't be a problem for me. There we go. Now, with Regery here, we've got a good bit of uh, greenhouse gubbins happening. How long until the next void room? It's not going to take long at all for that to happen, so I'm really not too worried. Why is that still there? Hmm. Is that something from down here? No, I can't quite tell what's going on there. Oh well. Now, in terms of research, we're almost halfway through second sight, and then it's on to brains. That will not take us long to grab. Now, who else needed to come out for a fight? Let's see... Defeat a two-skull or higher enemy. That one will be a little bit harder. You want to destroy so many things. Uh, you want to, So many people want the burrow. Where the heck are we going to find a burrow? Don't tell me. That was a rhetorical question. Uh, I'm just expressing my frustration at not knowing. Uh, yeah, one skull or higher while rested. Then I want to know... If you are rest, you are not. We're going to need to wait for you to be rested then, Ravian. Fair enough. Uh, research second sight, lightning. And skill level learned, two of them. Can I set up refining eyeballs? Eyeballs. Using recipes for quilted helpers and to build certain furnishings. Now, I need crow corpses for this. Okay, that shouldn't be too terrible. We'll do this until we have got... Say 20 as well. There you go. Try and make sure that that's always something that we are bringing in. But now that we've got that, let's go ahead and build out our wall. And our door as well. There we go. I almost want to expand this out, but I'm not going to worry about it. Alright, okay, not too bad. And with that, yeah, we're going to have to wait until night time. When, uh... Eelstar has had a good snooze, I think. Well, sleep is scheduled. What schedule are you currently on, Eelstar? You're not fully taught, so you're down here. I could just tell you to go to bed, but no. We'll wait until you, you've had a good sleep. I'll bring you back when we're ready to launch our next attack. Okay, so a few things have happened. One that you'll probably notice the earliest is I had to change the way the roof was built over here because sadly, these single pillars here let rain through and it was very annoying. So we've sorted that out. Secondly, high stink. The gut berry season is upon us and uh, that means everything now stinks of gut berry. Very tragic. Uh, we have now moved this room out and hopefully it is uh, still an auditorium. Yes, it is. This room should be well lit. Yes, it is. I haven't built the chest yet, but we will get to that. Uh, Ravian had to be put onto their own special schedule where all they did was sleep. They are no longer on that schedule for they are fully rested. If we have a quick check through here, there we go. They are rested. It is time for us to get them down here quickly before they stop being so. Uh, so this is going to be a lightning mage. Uh, you know what? I'm going to swap you out. I think we'll probably be wise. Uh, this is a... Uh, super happy about this. We'll see, I guess. Let's bring a couple of revival flasks just in case, though. And maybe some potions of recharging, potions of rejuvenation as well. Okay, there we go. I think this should be a solid set of peeps to go and have a fight with. Now, with all of that said and done, it is quick becoming time for us to wrap this episode up. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to have this one big fight here. We've got idle staff. All, all sorts of things are going on right now. We have just finished our research though, so before I forget, let's go in here and have a quick look. We've got helping comes naturally. We can get the uh, the tending quilted and the harvester quilted. We'll take a lot of, uh, of busy work off our students, honestly, which may well be worth it. Uh, the incense burner here would allow us to make a proper nurse's office. Might be worth our time doing that as well. Alternatively, we can look to get a new harvesting animal. The uh, Laval uh, Lavalina Stai. Refining beasts for creating basic stone and metal reagents. So I can make uh, recipe, stone times 10, use to expand the school, blah, blah, blah. Ingredients, wood. Uh, down here we can get iron, ingredients, wood. Amazing. 
And we can also get sculpt stone. I think we should go ahead and do that since we no longer have easy access to iron. Uh, not on the surface anyway. So I think that would probably be quite a solid way of sorting that out. All right, let's see what we've got. We have got furry mites. Attacks the front row of enemies. Okay, not too bad, but you're all going to get a shot before I can do anything about it, which is not great. Uh, in that case, vengeance. Let's have them hurt themselves. Oh, you hit both people. Oh, that's double bad, but uh, on the plus side, it's double bad for you as well because of vengeance. Very glad I went with that, actually, now. Uh, I want Earth. Well, it's not going to really matter, I suppose. Damn. Okay, well, my usual tactic isn't going to be as uh, good. Wow, 120, just straight up. Love it. Uh, this Consecrating Drops, yeah, definitely. We want to get more armor over there. And at this point, we can go for you. Womp. There we are, remove the ones from the back. And now I can go with just a regular Fireball, I think. Of course, get a crit with it. My god, you're a danger. Pump. And then, uh, even, no, we're not, I'm just gonna have you pass. We're gonna, we're gonna give the kill to someone else. There we go. Pump. And it's over. All right, 20 Phoenix Fire, 10 Iron, 50 Stone, and 10 Viscera. And on to somewhere where we'll get Mandrake Root, Iron, lots of Iron, Phoenix Flower. Okay, not too terrible. Got a bunch of Dire Rats, though, which is not grand. What I really need are Crower right now, because they're what we get brains out of. Uh, also eyeballs. Since Crower are the be-all, end-all when it comes to harvesting. Crower nest, but I want, I want the Crower, not the nest. Can't do anything about the nest. Void room. Right, Heather. Ah, I might just leave it there for Heather to take care of, honestly. Heather will eventually get to it, so uh, that should be fine. Right, other than that, I think that's this is a good place for us to wrap things up. We have massively expanded out the ground floor of the school. We have the beginnings of what will eventually be a wood cutting room, which will massively expand our tree growth rate, which will be fantastic. We'll have loads of wood, especially if we're going to be needing that wood to make iron. Don't ask, it's a magic school, okay? The answer is literally, it's magic. Uh, but it'll also allow us to create the, the wands a little bit faster as well, which will actually be quite nice. I would love to get an Atelier. The quilting rate is, is neither here nor there. I don't think that one's going particularly slowly, but the quilting lifetime is huge. That one is a big, big want for us. Uh, how we move that around, I don't know. We've got a nice little auditorium over here. I say little, it's uh, a reasonable sized auditorium. Uh, but what we really need to do is get the lightning teaching orrery and set that one up in this room along with possibly a, a chalkboard or something on the back wall there and then we will have a nice uh, nice advanced learning area for them what are we going to do with this room though i haven't decided maybe this can simply be access to another room up top let me have a look at ladders can i just build them all over the place I, I could i could maybe throw a couple of other odds and sods in here or i could have a stairwell go all the way up that is absolutely a possibility hmm we could do that. Let me know in the comments down below what you think we should do. Should we try and make this room into something? Or have it as an access point to uh, po another privated room? Or maybe even something more uh, esoteric. Something even taller. Maybe make this an enormous tower. We'll see. But that is going to be it from me and from the Refuge of the Painful Tide. Once again, thank you very much to all of the brave staff and the even braver students for joining us here. Thank you so much for your patron support. It means the world to me. But that is going to be it for us for today. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.